Hi, I'm State Representative Drew Stokesbury from Auburn. I've been getting a lot of questions about the state budget lately, and since I have the privilege of sitting on both the Finance and Appropriations Committee, and since I'm a tax attorney when I'm not in the legislature, I thought I'd answer some of these questions in a segment I call the One Minute Budget Breakdown. The Democrats released their proposed budget last week. Want to know what's in it? If you give me one minute, I'll give you the breakdown. Every other year, the legislature writes a budget for the next two-year period called the biennium. We're at the end of the 2013-2015 biennium, and the legislature is now working on a budget for the upcoming 2015-2017 biennium. That work is supposed to be done by April 26, so let's talk money. This biennium, the state will collect $34 billion in taxes. Because our economy is growing, we're naturally collecting more tax money. We expect to have $37 billion next biennium, or $3 billion in new revenue. In fact, things are going so well that our state constitution considers it extraordinary revenue growth. Nevertheless, House Democrats proposed 10 new taxes totaling another $1.5 billion. They claim new taxes are necessary to fund schools, but that's simply not true. In reality, over $1 billion of their taxes will finance raises and benefits for government employees and collective bargaining agreements the governor negotiated with public sector unions in secret. Millions more of the tax money will go to state agencies for new non-education spending, like $27 million to improve services at state parks, and $19 million to replace the computer system at Department of Revenue. The truth is, Washington State can and should live within existing means. We have enough to fully fund education and still protect society's most vulnerable, even without raising taxes. I hope you found that helpful. I'm State Representative Drew Stokesbury. Check back soon for the next One Minute Budget Breakdown.